First, we'll start with an update on the Community Facilities Task Force. As a reminder, the Board of Education has a policy in which the superintendent creates and provides a list of internal and external participants for approval by the Board of Education to seat a facility task force. This occurred at the February 6th Board of Education meeting. At the same meeting, we outlined a timeline in which the facility task force will meet from February to June with a goal of meeting twice per month in different sites across the district. Our goal is to have a final recommendation to address our facilities to the Board of Education by the middle of June of this school year. We anticipate the recommendations will begin to take effect no sooner than the school year 25-26. Since February 6, we've held two meetings of the Community Facilities Task Force. The first meeting focused on task force members being introduced to each other and being introduced to the work. At the same time, we created a web page accessible to the public to house all information, including the final recommendations from the 2018 facility task force as reference. This web page is updated following each meeting of the community facilities task force. At the second meeting at Mifflin High School, we handed off the Community Facilities Task Force to our co-chairs, Al Edmondson and Jim Negrone, to ensure this work is community-led. The co-chairs worked with the group to establish meeting norms. We then heard a presentation from Mike Wilkos, who is the Senior Vice President of Community Impact at United Way, and that presentation focused on growth and development in the city of Columbus. This presentation was certainly informative and impactful and is available on our Community Facilities Task Force webpage. And I would just like to note that um, um, Michael Wilkos, this was his second time presenting this presentation. He's been invited to the district a few times to share uh, these important updates and we certainly I will continue to invite him back to share this important data and patterns with um, various groups within our district as well as our community. Additionally, we had a CCS team member who supported the 2018 Facility Task Force present an overview of the school screening process that we utilized in 2018 to help frame the work ahead. We also added talking points for task force members who if to um, have questions from the public. Our team has recently created a survey, one of many surveys that will be used to gather feedback from our community around priorities for the factors through which schools will be screened based on board policy. The information received in the survey will be presented to the Community Facilities Task Force at their next meeting. We certainly encourage, welcome, and invite everyone to take a few minutes to fill out the survey and include their voice in the work of the Community Facilities Task Force. The survey is available in English, Arabic, French, Nepali, Somali, and Spanish. In each language, we also created versions tailored to adults, high school students, and K through eight students. We currently have already received over 1,000 survey responses and we certainly want to elevate our student and staff and community voice. The survey will continue to be open through Sunday, March 10th. At the next meeting on March 12th at the Hilltop Library, we will be reviewing the survey results and the task force will have their first working meeting in which they will prioritize and establish criteria for consideration in making decisions about school consolidation or closure. Once the priorities are established, our teams will work to provide relevant and specific data to the Community Facilities Task Force at their following meeting. Pursuant to board policy, since conditions may not permit giving equal weight to all factors, decisions shall be based on overall balance and objectivity. I will provide another update to the Board of Education on the Community-Led Facilities Task Force in one month at the April 9th board meeting. We are targeting the May 7th board meeting 
to present initial recommendations on school decisions. During the month of May, we are planning a series of town halls, surveys, and gallery walks to gather community input on these initial recommendations. Pursuant to our original timeline, we are targeting the month of June for a final recommendation to the Board of Education to determine our path forward that includes feedback from the community. I want to express a huge amount of gratitude to our task force members who are giving their time, expertise, and voice to this crucial process. Thank you.